Hi, I'm Jeff Ellis with PPI, and we're going to go over shafting material and different sizes. So the shaft is truly the core of the pulley. It's what determines the load carrying capacity, and its different shaft sizes only fit in certain types of pulleys. We're also going to talk about the different material grades of shafts. Some of the common grades are 1018, 1045, and 4140. 1018 is used when welding on the shaft is required. This is most common in weld-in pulleys for the unit handling industry, as well as some small pulleys for food grade applications which don't require 304 stainless steel. 1045 round bar is used in a variety of industry sectors for applications requiring more strength and low carbon mild steels. This is by far the most common pulley shafting and is very commercially available. 4140 steel bar is a chrome molly steel alloy for higher strength. This is very common in the mining industry or in other high load applications. These shafts are typically over 10 inches in diameter and are either forged or of the hot roll characteristic. Steel shafting typically comes in 16 7 inch in size. So for example, one and seven sixteenths and one of 15 sixteenths are some of the most common sizes available. Keep in mind to try to stay to the common commercially available sizes whenever possible. By going to other sizes off of the standard, it will end up costing much more money for the shafting and for the bearings. The bearings tend to be one of the most expensive components on a pulley assembly, and for that reason, it's best to stay with the commercially available shafting sizes. Once you exceed the size of the commercially available grades we talked about already, you start to move into hot roll and forge shafts. Now these are typically available in quarter inch increments up until about 12 inches. Once you get above a 12 inch size, you're moving into forge shafting, which is usually custom made and could be quarter, half, or one inch increments. Cold finished steel bars are made from carbon or alloy hot rolled bars, which have finishing processes applied to improve the surface. TMP or turning and polishing is one of the most common. This is done by using a cutting tool and rolls to try to straighten and polish the shaft and then it's cut to length. Now, this improves the dimensional tolerances and removes some of the surface defects that have been present from the hot rolling process. TG and P or turned ground and polished is another example of cold finish bar. There's an added step of grinding which will better improve the surface finish but also will even more refine the diameter tolerance of the shafting. CD, or cold drawing, is the most basic type of coal finish bar. This has a descaled or pulled through tungsten carbide or high speed steel die, and it straightens and just cuts the length of shaft. There isn't as many improvements as made in the TMP or TGMP processes. There are four main types of steel bar processing. Annealing, which is most common for PPI, is used to soften the steel for machinability. The others are stress relief annealing, normalizing and quenching and tempering. These are all different types of processing used to affect the strength of the steel. There are two main limits when it comes to sizing steel shafting. The first is an 8,000 PSI bending stress limit, which is per SEMA recommendations. There is also a free shaft deflection limit of 0.0023 inches per inch, or radians, uh, which is used to size the shaft. These limits apply to all pulleys, and keep in mind this is the most significant part of pulley design when it comes to selecting the correct shaft diameter. 